Well, Meg, just a little different than yesterday, huh? Uh, yes. Some sunshine. You actually needed the sunglasses today. It felt like a June day. I know. Today. So we hit 84. Whew. Normally for this time of year, we're at 70. So just, you know, a tad <laughs> above average, but we will certainly take that sunshine. Temperatures, thank you to our weather watchers, always keeping an eye on things here. So this 80 on the dot. Let's see, who is this from? Oh, didn't quite get it there. 80. This is from our friend Scott in Millersville. Sunshine. Yes, you are right about Scott. That Scott. We love to see that. 81. Let's see who this is from. Dave in Centerville. More sunshine. So thank goodness for that. It certainly was a beautiful second half of the weekend. So the satellite and radar, this shows us the clouds, but you'll see no clouds really to speak of. You can see a little bit of shower activity there moving across western Maryland, but for the most part, we are dry. Now, temperatures across the state. Annapolis, you're in the upper 70s. Baltimore, we are now down to 81 degrees. Bel Air, there, 77 degrees. The dew points here. So we are in the 70s 73 for Baltimore, 72 Annapolis, 73 in Patuxent. So numbers like these tell us yes, there certainly is some moisture in the air. As for those winds, you will notice they are out of the south here, meaning we're pulling in that warm, moist air. Let's talk about Tropical Storm Michael. Expect it to become a hurricane later on this week and actually make landfall over the Gulf Coast there of Florida at some point on Tuesday afternoon. Maximum sustained winds at 100 miles an hour That's at that point. We then see it continue to track to the northeast. Now, it is going to bring Maryland some rain. As for how much rain we are going to see, that all depends on this cold front that is also headed our way. As we move through Monday and Tuesday, it will be very similar to what we had today, where it starts off gray, it starts off with some patchy fog, and then as we move into the afternoon, we see more and more sunshine. Wednesday, and not so much. So we have that cold front moving through. Then we're going to have what's left over. Of tropical storm Michael tracking all way. Either way, that is going to end up bringing us some heavy rain. So tonight, we're going to dip down into the upper 60s. It's going to continue to be a warm and muggy night. Tomorrow, there's the clouds to start off the day, breaking way for some sunshine in the afternoon. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. So you can see we start off in the 80s, but then we end up with some legitimately cool fall weather to wrap up the work week. So by Friday, 63. Remember, the high today was 84 degrees. A week from today, we're expected to have a high of 64 degrees. So that will be quite a change. It will be certainly feeling like fall. At look that at those point. lows, right. 47 too. I know. Can you handle it? Bundle up. I don't Get think ready. so. You're going to yeah. hear a lot of complaining from me over the next couple of months. Oh, I just look forward to it, Mike. <laughs>